Hey everyone, um, my name is Donna, my pronouns are he, him. I am GMing this game of Copperhead County. Um, this is session three of four, and the group just finished a uh, uh, Raising Hell last week. Um, so let's get a quick introduction from everyone and their characters, and then a, a quick kind of uh, you know, clip of what you will see in the opening credits of this TV show uh, from from last week. Uh, so let's go left to right on the character keeper, which means we are starting with our hazard. Hi, I'm Will. Uh, pronounce he him. Unlike those of my character, uh, the hazard Hope Harris. Um, we are, you know, Seco Creek County loves its literation. Uh, you know, she is a daughter of uh, Pappy Happy Harris. Um, and she is, um, you know, who was, killed. A, he was killed. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. God rest his, rest his soul. That son of a bitch. Um, yeah. Uh, Hope is, uh, the sister of another member of our crew, uh, the daughter of, uh, a dead, of a dead father. Uh, and he will have his, have a vengeance one day against, um, in this life or the next, I think. Yes, the I'm, glad that some, I'm glad that somebody got the reference there. Um, and yeah, she likes uh, she likes causing trouble and uh, mostly blaming it on her elder brother. Um, yeah, she, she's a she's a wrong gun. I don't know what to tell you. She's definitely um, a loose cannon, uh, a wild card, and you know, bright but uh, not wise in any way, shape, or form. Uh, any moment from last week you want to highlight on the? Uh... Oh, I, I think uh, as evidenced by her, um, you know, like the little last time on montages of her, uh, you know, setting up those stills in the woods, blood shooting them and blowing one up, right, uh, and then fist bumping uh, Lee, that then turns into the fist bumping uh, Malcolm through the window of the car and the van as they scream like victory as they drive off into the woods, right, like. Uh -huh. uh, Cool, thanks all. Uh, Ian. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Ian, uh, pronounced he, him. Uh, I play Malcolm Preston Harris, or MPH, who is our cruise mover. Uh, it's a sort of stunt driver and uh, 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 you know, more comfortable on, on four wheels than, than two legs, I would say. Uh, I think I described Malcolm as being, Malcolm is the older brother of Hope Harris, uh, sort of a Bit of a bit of a softy, bit of a pushover uh, comparatively. Um, I described him as a shit hot driver, shit hot pedal steel guitar player whose band, the the lead singer of the band, up and left for Nashville, um, and left uh, left Malcolm in a position where he couldn't do anything to to uh, better his family station, and that's when uh, uh, Pappy Harris was was killed. So so. For the first time in his life, Malcolm has a bit of an axe to grind, and last week uh, got to got to use it a little bit as he uh, crashed the um, the homecoming gig of that that uh, that pretty Nashville face, uh, Patton Price, um, his former bandmate, um, by basically luring a member of uh several members i think if i remember correctly uh several members of the the uh sort of thuggish heathens motorcycle club to show up and cause chaos at that uh at that event and you know the fact that that was cover for us knocking over an armored truck full of uh uh, uh casino money that's just a bonus the main thing was that i got to put a stick in the eye of my rival uh so that's that's what i think we see uh last time on is this burly motorcycle club member storming the stage and and uh uh cleaning Patton's clock uh as it were uh, awesome thanks Ian. <clears throat> uh sabine yeah hi my name is sabine i use any pronouns i am playing marlo marley marley i'm sorry katsha who uses he him pronouns Marley is a cleaner, he's a vet, he went to the army, he got kicked out because of something he won't talk about, he does not like to talk a lot, he likes to have his peace, he growls on people, like often, 
Um, and he likes to read weird fiction and listen to weird music. Uh, I think uh, MPH band qualifies as his kind of weird music or his, his, the way he makes music. Marley likes that. Um, yeah, last time he, uh, well, yeah, there was this infam famous incident where he hung on the door of the van trying to keep the money inside the van. But I really, what I really liked is when we went out and got into the van, there were some people guarding it and Marley growled at them and they stepped back. So that was nice. Great stuff. And this week we're joined uh, by Chris. Uh, so Chris, how about you give us a, a quick intro uh, to your character and, and maybe give us a hint at what you were up to last week instead of being with these uh ne'er do wells. Um, so, so, um, my name is Chris Bench. Chris, uh, he, him pronouns. My character is Jesse, nay, Jesco Cutshaw, um, little brother to Marley, cousin, um, cousin to our other two scoundrels here. Um, he, last week he was actually at the LRA working sound. Uh, Jesse is, is, um, you know, grew up in Seiko County, but wants to get the, you know, fudge out of this place. Um, he would not have said fudge. Um, wants to get out of this place, you know, grew up sort of idolizing Memphis as being the, the place that he wants to get to. Um, uh, uh, even though, you know, he is white, he hates all this, this, this honky music that, that everybody's playing around him. He grew up on, on three, six mafia and, and sort of, uh, Memphis, Memphis trap and, um, really wants to, you know, wants, wants to be part of the, the Memphis rap scene. Um, but being part of the, you know, the music scene, um, he does, you know, was, working sound at the El Rey last week. Um, and so, uh, you know, did uh, uh, witness some things go down that he was not expecting that evening that he maybe had a, a uh, particularly, um, uh, 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 you know, that he had had, had a, a vantage on that other people in the audience would not have. Uh, and I am pleased to be back here after having snapped a tooth off, chomping into some too crusty bread <laughs> last week and eating an emergency trip to the dentist. Um, can I can I ask a question about the the doing the sound? Are we are we to expect that this heist happened without Jesse's knowledge or are we? Yeah, I think it to so. Some, yeah. OK, that's great. I love that. <laughs> I love um, that you're just like, this is just a day on the job. And you're like, come on, guys, like I'm working here. <laughs> I mean, the reason that it's a secret, right, has to be that Jesse was keeping it a secret that he was working with for Patton, essentially. Sure, right? sure, yeah, sure. He didn't want to he didn't want to upset Malcolm. So he was like, yeah, you know, I got a gig. Oh, uh, you know, like somewhere out of town. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's up there <laughs> in the booth going, guys, what the fuck? You're in my gig. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all know how MPH reacts when someone you know works or likes uh, Patton Price. So, yeah, that's a very wise move on Jesse's part. Um, so let's um, let's do the last uh, necessary uh, mechanical um, item before we move in to downtime, which is your each of you has the prospect of personal trouble. Uh, no one has any burnout, so you're going to be rolling 2d6 and taking the lowest result. Um, and these are going to like check the boxes on your personal trouble uh, section. So it'll be, uh, if you're high, well, in this case, your lowest result is a 1 to 3, it'll be 1 tick. A 4 5 is 2 ticks, and a 6 is 3 ticks. A uh, critical would be uh, 5 ticks, uh, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, do we want to go in character keeper order and maybe, uh, uh, I guess we can use this role <laughs> to inform or downtime, you know, no, no concrete consequences are going to happen out of, out of this. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, it's a useful background color, uh, for it. Okay. 
So should I roll 2d6? 2d6, and you're taking the lower result. Is it two? Okay, so that's just one tick. One tick. It's not too bad. And I should define what my trouble is, I guess? Um, not until it... I mean, you can. Uh, okay. But generally speaking, we mightn't do it until that clock fills. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think for for our timeline here, it might be it might be good to, to get an idea of what is broken. Oh, I mean, I, I think... Um... You know, we leave that uh, van overnight um, near the uh, the the, brewer, the stills, right? Like, um, and as we're driving, I'm driving it off in the morning to dispose of it. Uh, somebody, you know, I just see like somebody in the woods staring. Maybe one of the Petimok clan who uh, the has assured me uh, are totally cool with us. Uh, Brew yeah, and shine yeah, in the woods, yeah. Uh, because he had a chat with Jeb 10 years ago about it, right? So, like, yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay, thanks, Will. Uh, let's move on, uh, to MPH. Okay, um, here I go. Uh, I rolled a six and a two, so I guess okay. that's I take the two, right? You take the two, yeah, right, okay. Um, so that's one tick of of your personal trouble, personal yeah. trouble, and yes, am I meant to am I meant to contextualize this as like just stuff that's happening in MPH's personal life? Yeah, this can be. I mean, it could be obviously associated with the job, but also it kind of gets more interesting to have it personal. Uh, maybe, maybe those two things are interlinked, you know? Uh, yeah, uh, as they often are. Well, I think that this is like, you know, I think that we had contextualized before, like, uh, MPH still plays with like the rest of those guys from the band after the lead singer, like, uh, lit out and, you know, we're kind of going nowhere, not, you know, even though it's good music, there's, there's not really anybody around to, to, to hear it, uh, because we're not in, in a place with like an audience, so to speak. And so I think that this is, uh, that band, which I think we call the Howling Winters, um, it, you know, in our regular, like, you know, maybe it's the next night, it's like a Saturday or a Sunday night, right? Like a, like a, um, a weekend evening and we're playing to a, to a crowd of six people or something. And, uh, MPH is just getting this sort of like sinking, frustrating feeling of like, it doesn't matter that we stuck one to Patton because like that that's not going to solve these other problems right um so i think that that's going to whatever happens next that's going to um cause malcolm to be a little more like maybe a little more reckless because I, i'm trying to i'm trying to get what i need to get out of here now um, yeah Okay. So that hasn't cool. it hasn't spilled it hasn't you know obviously hasn't topped up into anything like material yet but that's just that's like what he's feeling is this sort of like oh that wasn't enough um just, just gotta be just gotta be more yeah uh that totally works okay thanks Ian. uh sabine how about marley yeah let's roll some dice oh. a four and a one wow okay. so that's just one tick one tick okay let me figure out where i should put it not on the hellraisers tab so it's at the very bottom yeah. of the middle column just under i found it i found it okay. i was just on the wrong tab um i think my trouble here is mostly that i hmm, I guess um, I have to think, I think I have to make up stuff with Gudika, right? Because she got kind of punched out last time when she was doing running interference for us at the, yeah. at the concert. So I think I need to make it up to her a little. Um, and the only way I know how to is uh, I'll, I'll take her to a concert of MPH. Yeah, I will. 
Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> so the I two don't... of you are, are in the audience of this yep. of six people. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but I don't know if she likes that precisely. And I can't growl at her if she doesn't. So yeah. Uh, so is that like two of six or two plus six? That's what I want to know. Yeah. That's a significant. Yeah, two, yeah, two of six. Two for of sure. six. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure she's impressed, but maybe, maybe, probably uh, not. Maybe this but, is funny, but you know. But there's a copious amount of alcohol, there I is. think, and that that will help. I mean, okay, yeah, uh, and I think given that you're buying as long as the gig is going on, she's the one shouting for an encore, right? Mm -hmm. You know, one yeah. more tune, right? Yep, uh, fair okay. enough. <laughs> uh, Awesome, thanks again. Uh, Chris, I think I think you should get on some of this action. Sure. Wait, so how many am I rolling then? You're rolling two dice and taking the lower number. Uh, My understanding three. is that for every burnout, you... You roll one die, die for every right? burnout. And then it's just like having yeah. zero in a normal ability, you roll two and take the lower. Um, right. So... Yeah, okay, you said you rolled a three. Yeah, so a three was my low. Cool. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's just one tick. So yeah, you know, you're all pretty much under the radar right now. Uh, any ideas for for how that trouble is brewing for for Jesse? Um. Yeah. So I mean, I think. I think the trouble relates to the fact that uh, you know I think it's an internal sort of like difficulty with y'all like you know why wasn't I clued in on this um you know what are you know do you have anything else going on behind my back um you know I think I'm getting a little suspicious uh as to to why I was not you know apprised of this situation uh even if even if you guys didn't know that I was going to be at El Rey's is that a is that a scene then like should we should we play that out I think that is where we should start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that's great. So, um, so I think we need like maybe. Do you think the whole crew is together and Jesse walks in maybe to find them counting cash or something like that? Something very yeah. obvious. Back room of lucky number uh, seven, right? Like. Uh... So, so, so I think I walk in wearing wearing a heathen's hat that one of you dropped uh from the from the the whatchamacallit you know mid heist it just flew off y'all had the jackets and and whatnot um and somebody had a, a cap with the heathens logo on it that that whipped off somebody's head in the middle of the the heisting and i walk in being uh, like, what, hey it's what hope was waving out of the window as uh she cheered about the victory right and it slipped right. out of her hands <laughs> in the wind <laughs> like uh, well I, I don't know that i made it to the highway but but oh, yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, I like the image. I like the image. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and so I think I walk in wearing that, being like, uh, you know. So I I feel like there's been some sort of communication breakdown uh, in the family here. Anybody anybody care to clue me in on on what's going on? Aren't you supposed uh, to be in Memphis, Jesse? The it says uh you know. Oh, the, was it Tennessee? The, I thought you were doing a gig. I I you know so so. You know, I took the liberty last night of uh, maybe bullshitting you a little bit. Um, oh, I'm I was, shocked. I was, I was running sound for. Um, oh, shit, I forgot. Kit was it? Is, is it? Wait, I'm sorry. The name of the the band Patton. leader, Kit. Patton. Patton. My bad. Pat. Yeah. Like uh, like drive by truck. Yeah, um, that's where there's your breakdown in communication right there. This is, I, you know, I. I had a little white lie. I was running sound for somebody. You know, I got to pay rent. It's best paying gig in town. You know, I know that y'all aren't friends, but, but you know, it, what, I, 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 I moved a few levers on a mixing board. What the fuck were y'all at last right, night? Right, so, so, so Malcolm is like standing up and getting in your face, Jesco, I think. And he's saying, um, oh, so you're, you're going to lecture us. Yes, coming, I'm coming like coming in here after lying about where you were. Listen, if you wanted to pay rent, you could have been a part of this. If you have been straight with us from the beginning, if you've been straight with me from the beginning, you know I don't like that guy. You, you could know have he had doesn't a cut. like. You know he doesn't like that guy, Jessica. 
I know he doesn't like that guy. This is this is. You know why is, he doesn't like that guy, Jessica? I know why he doesn't like that guy because that guy's a douchebag. Thank you for saying it. <laughs> but you know what? He he makes door. He brings in a big door. As yeah. You, Hope is gonna throw a bundle of cash at you, like in your face, you know. You never you never you never got in bed with a douchebag to uh to pay some bills. Uh no. He said uh, Malcolm says, I think I think you know that I have. <laughs> Listen, Jesse, how long have you been saying that you wanted to move to Memphis for good? How many trips? How many trips have you driven back? Have you driven out there and had to drive back in the middle of the night because you couldn't afford a motel? There's no one around. You know, there's no one there who's going to put you up. How many times? More, more than I got fingers to count on. We, all of us, want to leave this place behind. I don't like being here in this room with his memory here. I want something new. And God help me, that's not going to come. If it's not going to come honest, then it's going to come false. You're talking about dad or are you talking about Patton here? Well, I'm talking about, I'm talking about dad. <sighs> she looks like pissed off, but also kind of like, yeah. <laughs> looks up at the picture of him over the bar, right? Takes a yeah. bottle of whiskey off and just goes, Yeah. I can see what you what you what you're saying. I mean, I think I think what you were that's a good point. It could have applied to either of them, but yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, about... yeah, yeah. I figured you were, yeah. I just wanted to be like because I think Hope's like, how dare you? But also, yeah, <laughs> completely. What a dick. We're Jesse. We're gonna we're gonna make a break for it. Hope's been trying to make convince both, you know, Hope and and Marley have been trying to convince me of this for God months, if not years, and I I just don't see another way out. Well, if you're making a break for it, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't, I I I want to be on that, I want to be in your car while you're making that break. I don't want to be left behind. Uh, no, but you're too busy. And, and in, in particular, service, I want to know that. I'm sorry. You're too busy in the sound booth, Jessica. You got your own deal going, right? Well, you know what? So I'll when just my take, sound I, I, booth... I, I, I'll just take this this back, right? Like this take, when, yeah, okay. And then when oh, my and this, sound oh, booth yeah. job goes sideways, the heathens don't come after you. Well, no, that's the whole point. <laughs> uh, the Barnets no... go after the heathens, and then we don't have to worry about the heathens and Baron um, Carter fucking pays for what he did. Hey, the 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 job went great. I'm I'm glad to hear it. That's uh, fantastic. Fist bump, Malcolm. <laughs> fist bump, Molly. When you say the job went great, right? Like, right. Yeah, right. Not not <laughs> yeah. looking, right? Just yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if it hadn't, if it hadn't, if it hadn't, those heathens would be on my ass just as much as they're on yours. And that's while I was sitting in the mixing booth doing nothing but making sure that you couldn't hear his shitty bass player. Hey, Marley, if only we, uh, if only we Malcolm known, going right? over to the blinds to like make sure that there aren't any heathens outside. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know why you're saying that you were there for us. We thought you were in Memphis, right? You could have told us. You could have told. Have told you could have told me. I don't mind that Patton guy. He's a douchebag. So what? Well, well, you here I am. Me. Let's be straight. Yeah, I want, you're I want telling to the next gig. Yeah, you're telling after the fact if we made a lot of money. Jesse, come on. It's not cool. It's not a way to treat your family. Well, so 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 here I am coming clean. I want you to tell me what's the next job because I went in on it. I'll, okay. I'll, you know, let me share my Google calendar. We can make sure that everything syncs up. Oh, if you're not too busy, Jessica, I don't want to cut on your on your work, you know, like your real job. A no real job wherever the cash is coming from. Oh, I know it's pay so well. She says she fans herself with it. <laughs> it's hot cash, in here for you? Like... Are you warm? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So warm, so warm. <laughs> uh, so, so, so I gotta. Sorry, Sabine, go ahead. Yeah, and I, and I look at you and say, "So, how are you on Thursdays?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I got this gaming yeah. thing, but uh, uh, Jesse, fuck your Google Calendar. 
if we do a big score and you want in, you're you can be in. Well, but I'm we're in. not scheduling around your Google Calendar stuff. Well, right? Then I'm in. Tell me when to show up. Uh, okay, so then like going over like Ocean's Eleven style, going over to the table where we have like the you know the the sort of notes and the map and everything for whatever it is that we're planning next. Which we'll come back to, right? Because right, right. I'm assuming this is <laughs> yeah, like yeah. we're moving into the next bit of, of downtime okay. here. Yeah. Um, the question was I was going to ask you. is, you know, <laughs> is this like a a Harris Cutshaw thing? You're going to give him shit. Uh, but he's still in the group, or does he need to do something else before you really accept them? What's what's the dynamic here? Delete his Google calendar. <laughs> I'm, I, I think I think MPH is just kind of miffed. You know, like this this isn't really like a like a grievance, um, and he understands that like people are going to work with Patton because Patton's a big star. And so it's just like the, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like the amount of surface area that he has to like be in contact with people is, is great. You know, um, mostly I think that he, he just wants to, he just wants to be sure that Jessica's not going to get like cold feet, which is pretty rich coming from Malcolm who took like months of convincing to actually get to this point. <laughs> I, um, I think that hope is uh, stirring the pot. But ultimately, it's just like Malcolm grow up. This was all about the money, really, not about Patton. Um, and you know, uh, Jesco uh, also like yeah, big deal, man. Like man up, you know. Like if we'd known you were there, then right. Think about we maybe we wouldn't have lost that bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> Success is the best re revenge, right? Yeah. Like, if I yeah. really want to get back at him, I need to like carry through, carry on with this, so that we can yeah. I mean, Molly's, I'm going to I'm going to turn off bit... my camera for a second because I have to plug my computer in, but I'm still listening. Sure, Molly's yeah. a bit disappointed that Jesse didn't tell him that he wasn't going to Memphis. He was kind of rooting for his little brother going to Memphis and doing shit. And now he's still he, he stayed here. And that's kind of yeah, it's kind of disappointing all over. But yeah, you know what? There's still whiskey and rot cotton. I would have a moonshine, what have you. So, for the record, so... Jesse does not actually have a Google calendar. Mm. Yeah, that that was like final straw with the Google calendar stuff. Uh, that was Chris bleeding. No, yeah. but the next level up is my people will call your people, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, we we have a Google calendar. You just need to block it all out for crime. <laughs> <laughs> all day events, every day, all day. Yeah. Next time you just tell Mama an owl, and she'll tell me. Now we'll see what that will get you. I'm not. I'm not facing down, Mama. <laughs> yeah, think so. The heathens is one thing, Mama. Mm. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't face down, Mama. So, but hey, what? What? Well, well, went well, right? Like, I mean, the, from what I hear, the Barnets are fucking pissed, and they think it was the heathens. So, you know, she pulls down the cap. Like rock and fucking roll, man. <laughs> fucking cop saw me though. I'm pretty sure he recognized me. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> that <laughs> Malcolm goes pale, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> that fucking Muller, Craig, that douchebag, I think he was following us and his you know, you heard him like we we and, oh my God, that's uh, the most crooked cop name that there ever was, Craig Muller. <laughs> he, yeah, I mean, he's like that's the most crooked cop that they have in this whole state. I think so. Fair enough, but I think he recognized me. Okay, well, I guess that's a that's a bridge that we burn when we come to it. Yeah, yeah, I just think I might, uh, I might look into bridge burning a little before we come to that. Um, Sorry, you wanted to add something? No, I was going to say, should we should we move on to the, yeah, to let's, the rest um, of town time? I, I feel like we're on the same page here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to take a quick break? I know we've kind of been online for an hour, so we still want to take five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, good. Okay. So,
So for downtime, I think this will be the easiest decision ever made. Uh, the crew decides on their profile during this downtime phase. If you have a low profile, you stay quiet, your heat will be decreased, uh, and you only get to perform one free activity during that time. If your profile is high, your crew's heat is unchanged, but you each get to perform two free activities during that time. I feel like it's got to be high, right? That, that, is, that, is, that is as prophecy. Yeah. Damn, I thought we would just lounge around, enjoy our new money, not do anything. Okay, okay, I get it. We gotta like, hustle. like one way or the other next week is the finish line. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta hustle, I get it. Just because Marley wants to lay low, I mean. Uh, I mean, you can also lay low and enjoy Ornor as one of your things. Okay, uh, so um, so you're each going to get two um, activities. Uh, the five, sorry, the six, sorry, the five activities are buy stuff. You know, maybe this is like for uh, for the next mission or whatever. Uh, enjoy Ornor, which reduces your stress. Uh, pursue a project. I guess long-term projects maybe not so not so high on the agenda right now. Uh, put in the work, so like to do a side gig to earn some extra money, or recover, uh, which is if you're hurt. I don't think anyone is hurt. Uh, obviously, you could double up on these um, if you want, or you, you know, if you do want to bring a long-term project, you could like hit it twice and uh, do a rush job on it. Um. So. Um, how how do we individually get money? So, uh, so the money that is in the Hellraisers <laughs> now usually that money would be split between the members, right? Uh, even right. Stephen, that's how I would usually run it. Um, uh, and so you'd have two cash to put into your bank, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an argument right and a half uh and then you could use that to put into your bank which gives you benefits on other things or to spend it to get extra action so um should we each take one just so that we can play with that mechanic if we so wish and it's just you know yeah uh, yeah i mean even for people who like are ostensibly trying to save up to 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 blow town you know i at, at least in Malcolm's case, I don't feel like I would be able to resist just like enjoying having money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I think that I'd like to take one at least. Yeah, so everyone can take one, and and, and two if you really want, I guess. Yeah. Uh, because the 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 money that is in the crew doesn't really do anything. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, pretty much doesn't do anything in the crew. Maybe I'm wrong. But, well, event eventually we could spend it to like get claims or whatever, right? We could like expand our territory. Yeah, am I, am I remembering that right? Yeah, traditionally the way to get claims is to take them off someone else, and, right. and maybe maybe for some folks a, a cash transaction would would work, but for most you're you're bank borrowing or stealing, you know. So right, um, yeah, and that could be like a major project, right? To, to open a claim up or to, to get some turf, right? Um, I, I not for the crew uh, or the for you individually, but um, yeah. Um, I'd like to. I think. For, I know. Um, how many more sessions do we have? Two more? Uh, next one. Although, obviously, you next know, one. if we return in... The mm, next year, one, one more. Knows. Um, but I have two actions, and I can spend my cash yeah. to do it. Yeah, I would like to um, pursue a project. Okay. Uh, and my project is... Uh, I want to uh, work out how I can blow up Baron Carter's car. Okay. Um, and uh, I don't know if that project is best described as, um, you know, trying to work out 
where I could get to Baron Carter's car mainly. Like the opportunity seems more the problem than the ability to do it because I'm a I'm probably able to craft a rough car bomb of my own design. Yeah, I, it seems more like you know a surveillance project. You know what are his movements? Um, Identifying his vehicles, right? Yeah, uses, what, what right? the vehicles yeah. that he uses, all that kind of stuff. Mm. So the bomb, you know, seems like the the least troublesome uh, aspect of that for hope. Yeah. Um, do you see that? That to so if this was like a, a normal campaign, I might say taking out the bad guy like that seems like an eight segment clock, but to make it you know, somewhat attainable. Mm -hmm. uh, we could go with six. six. That's that's a, like a stretch, but not impossible, right? Does yeah. that seem fair? I think that seems fair because I think that's definitely like, you know, what uh, Hope is sort of working on, thinking, thinking over in the back of her mind, like all the time, right? Like, is where can I get him? He's too protected. He's always got that psychopath um, Ash with, yeah. Her, yeah. with him, you know. She's got eyes like some. I swear, like you must be psychic or some shit, right? Uh, we're gonna meet her next next episode. I feel yeah, sure. that, that, that's sure. why I brought her up to remind us all that she exists, right? Like, yeah. Um. So, uh. So, what do I do to roll? Do my so. Uh, so, how do you think you're approaching this? Um, because this is like a normal action, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um. I think it is. Um, it's reckon using my brain to study and solve a problem, right? In that, uh, Baron Carter is uh, well protected because he's at war with the he's at war with the Barnets. It's not gone super hot, but like he knows that there's fighting out there. Uh, it's restricted currently to their to their front line, right? Rather than like deep within their own. Like you yeah. know, he killed yeah. he killed someone in Adamstown because the Barnets came to Adamstown, right? Like. Uh, so at the moment they've not gone like wild so I guess it's all that kind of like thinking through the problem and like how can I exploit like when the Barnets hit it or like how can I draw guys off or get him to put his car into the shop or you know thinking through all the different like brainstorming sort of shit basically um, so that is one die in Reckon I okay think. and right. for for any dental actions if one of your friends or the crew's associates are in a good position to help you, you will get a bonus die. I think that Lee is in a good position to uh, help tell me about uh, different ways you can rig IEDs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and he, uh, he, he taps his leg with, you know, with his walking stick as he says hard, it, right? Hard like, one lessons, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is that is fair. Um, so and and maybe it's more about operationally, like you know, obviously Baron Carter has security, but not like downtime Baghdad in two thousand and five security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these experiences like uh, the, the sneaky fuckers. You know, they put it right underneath the manhole cover. Like who knew? Sort of thing. Uh, you could walk on that and no problem. But as soon as you drove a jeep over it, boom, kind of stuff. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, two d six then. Two d six, yeah. Two d six. That's a six. Whoa! Nice. Gg. Nice. So, um, I have a space for. No, I don't have a space for a clock, right? But I can put one on my sheet yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it underneath personal life. Uh, I'll call it like Get Carter. Get Carter. Yeah, that one was sitting there all all week. I know, and I was like determined uh, that you were the only person who would get it as well. <laughs> Surely not. Surely. Um, Classic movie. So, oh, so okay. there we go. So, Will, what does this look like? I mean, you're you've gotten a good starting uh, idea of what Carter's um, routine is. You know, wh what do you think you find out? Um, I think that I, I like I paid off somebody at the DMV right to get like the re the cars registered to his uh, to him officially, and then the ones that are registered to multiple people of different names at his address, right? So I know some of his dummy cars and dummy vehicles, um, and I have like 
you know, like each of them and then like the models and shit like printed off the internet and like a big, like again, the big murder board of um, random Baron Carter things, right? If you step into Lee's shack, you'll see the, the depth of Hope's obsession with uh, working out how to, to kill this guy, basically. Um, and she's crossing them out in like, you know, not this one because you couldn't possibly fit a bomb of sufficient size to ensure that you kill Baron Carter inside the space available to us without someone noticing, right? Like all kind of technical details as well as these mad like schemes. Uh, yeah. So I think maybe like the what Lee has added, maybe Lee has looked at it and says, you gotta trace the route and then he like uses color coded wool for like this is this is Baron Carter going to visit his mistress color, and this is him going to do business color, and this is his route home or whatever. So mm. there's a there's a lot of lines on this map, obviously, but you can kind of tell, you know, on a Sunday, this is the route he's going to be taken or, or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so on a six, how much do uh, I... You, uh, three ticks. Three ticks. Yeah. Okay. Um... I, mean, I rolled really well then, didn't I? Uh, and I get two two actions, but yeah, obviously let, go around to other people. Yeah, let's go around the table. Yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Ian, how about MPH? Yeah, sure. I think um, after after consulting the possibilities for downtime actions, the main thing I want to do this turn this this downtime is to buy something. But I really only have the one cash at the moment uh so i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna as my first action i'm gonna put in work okay uh, so you've got two really you're gonna you could take two out of the cruise uh right but like yeah. fictionally i want to i want to leave some in there because that okay. represents like the bag that we're getting out of town with you know okay um um, so, uh, you help operate crew of business or pursue a side gig for extra money. Each activity earns one cash uh, for yeah. either the worker or the crew. Um, what's the funniest, like, automotive related job that I could be doing here? Uh, driver instruction? At, oh, at that's high good. School or something? <laughs> that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a driving, I'm a driving teacher. Oh God. When I, when I was, when I was 12 or 13 and I had decided that I wanted to learn how to play the guitar, my parents took me to like the local music shop, Adam's Music in Los Angeles, and uh, signed me up for a lesson. And the, the man who gave me the lesson, his name was Pierre. Uh, and he had, he came into the lesson with, uh, you know, guitar that was too expensive and he was wearing leather pants and he had hair that went swoosh. and i remember just having this this extremely profound feeling at the time of this is a clown this man is a clown and i think that mph is bringing a similar kind of like um maybe not quite as like posh but a similar sort of like he's going to get into the car no one is going to respect him <laughs> None of these, none of these like zoomers are gonna like, you know, uh, respect him for playing for playing like, uh, I don't know, George Jones on the on the stereo as we like. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, I do think that at some point Jesse has slapped a "Please be patient, student driver" bumper sticker on your van. Uh, so even as you're doing all of your getaway driving, there's the, uh, the yeah. student <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, do I need to, do I need to roll anything? You do not need to roll, um, unless you really want to. Uh, you just I, get the cash. But... I just, I just want to, ex I just want to express how excruciating this is for, yeah. for MPH. To um, do. <sighs> I want I want two little vignettes from you, Ian. I want like um, the teacher who was organizing it knows something embarrassing about you because you know you went to this high school too, not too many years ago, right? Um, like what what do they bring up about you? Um. I think that uh, this person 
Um, listen, we're in a small town, right? Everybody really, everybody knows each other, or at least you're more likely to run into somebody who you know than not to. I think that the person who runs the the driving school, or at least who is like on duty at the time, is my ex from high school. Uh, in fact, was the person who I went to prom with. Um, and we were, you know, we weren't going to like get a limo. So I, so I drove, <laughs> I drove to prom and, uh, did a chaotic enough job that when we got there, um, their like perfect outfit was, was <laughs> a little messed up, you know, after them having spent like hours and hours getting it right. Um, I haven't decided if this person is a, is a, a, a man or a woman or, or neither or both. Um, but I think that they make some pointed remarks about me being uh, uh, a, a steady hand at the wheel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, presumably it's like, oh, but our sign-up sheet for students today is um, is full, Malcolm. You're going to have to come back another time to learn how to drive. <laughs> right. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> um and and i think the other the other vignette is like um like temporarily forgetting myself and um you know like like the student the student gets into a into a like a some kind of predicament and um uh mph is just like oh let me let me show you how it's done let me show you how to get out of this situation and executes like a baby driver like the like 270 degree like drift around a corner or yeah, something yeah. it's like it's that easy like don't yeah i have my turn that's simple notch you know yeah uh-huh <laughs> Uh, with you know the student in the in the in the passenger seat like all of the color like drained out of their yeah. face just like yeah um uh, yeah so i guess like the 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 next uh uh the next student you know maybe they wonder exactly what this new donut shape uh at the entrance to the school is or, or whatever right yeah okay cool uh yeah they don't they don't make them like they used to right it's high school kids okay cool let's see um they probably make them better honestly <laughs> <laughs> uh, more sensible yeah yeah maybe uh awesome uh sabine how about marley i think first of all marley needs to relax this was a bit of a thing yeah that we did so i, I think, think he's he, the highest stress yeah 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 i want to get rid of some of the stress if we're doing a big thing so i think i need to relax what do i do to relax huh um you going to the, you going to the mall again <laughs> yeah i don't know it's kind of low i think i want to do something with a i think i want to get drunk maybe like at a place where no, well, maybe I don't want to get drunk. I want to read one of my funny... Oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive over to some other town where they have a reading of some very, very uh, unfamous author who has written a very weird book about penguins in Mississippi and why that was a thing and how they are actually all of them aliens. So... Mm -hmm. I really like that book. It was it was so it all made more sense in that book. It's it's clearly it's absurd, but in, in the confines of this book, that was like okay, yeah. If, if that was true, that's that's how it would go down. That's exactly how it would go down. Knowing I, people, I can imagine reading a book like that and thinking that it's like absurdist on purpose. Yeah. And then, yes. like, getting to the reading and being like, oh, like, this person actually... <laughs> Everyone here believes. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. that, that's possible. Let's see how this goes. I need to... But it, this is how I want to relieve my stress. So, like, um, so what you do is you mm -hmm. roll bank. So, basically, the richer you are, the better you are at indulging your stress. 
Um, again, much. similar. So you're going to be rolling two dice and mm -hmm. taking the lowest result. Okay. Uh, unless you have a friend help you out, uh, a friend oh. or an associate from from uh, the crew. So it could be. Uh, I'm not sure about the the crew's friends, but. Uh, Who's the crew's friends then? Um, sorry, Was that have... the, the owner of Swarf Records? Uh, Is that one of the crew's friends? Uh, no, so it's the associates oh, okay. um, on the crew sheet. So you've got Hector, a bartender, mm -hmm. Boone, a drug dealer, Morales, a, an arms dealer, oh, okay. a win, a nurse, and Vargas, we saw last week, a mechanic. I think maybe that arms dealer likes that books like that. Yeah. Is, uh, is he, you know, all in on this penguin conspiracy? I think he's all in on that weird book reading things. And he I mean, he's probably laughing at that conspiracy. But, uh, you know, it's kind of funny seeing people believe in some stuff like that. Okay, cool. So that take, brings you up to one die. Nice. Uh, so you're going to lose this much stress. And I roll one die. Yeah. Okay. See how that goes. Well, it's a five. That's exactly the best result. Yeah. I feel uh, the dice like Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, at least. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was that was fun. Yeah. So, uh, I think I come home with a plush penguin with vampire teeth for some reason. Okay. It made sense. It made sense. Um, why didn't you? I would like to hear. Um. An excerpt from uh, from the talk or from the book, like some line or some like strange combination of words you never thought you'd hear that had you and Morales laughing in the car all the way back. Well, I think uh, the line is it's got something to do with the FBI, uh, and that's when the FBI got tried tried to arrest the penguin. But he didn't know that the penguin had vampiric powers. That was rather unfortunate for the FBI guy. It was kind of hilarious because the FBI guy should have known, right? From what had gone on earlier in the book, the FBI guy should have should have known that this this was not the usual kind of penguin. I mean, this is why uh, presumably the FBI have all of these security uh, measures in place now, uh, mm -hmm. in state at least, to uh, yeah. to detect these uh, incoming vampire penguins, right? Alien vampire penguins, yes. Alien vampire penguins, yeah. I mean, they're not they're not from Earth. That's why they're vampiric. That's how you, that's how you can tell. In my head, the the book on tape version of this. Have you guys ever seen the the Werner Herzog penguin documentary where he he he, he talks about the penguin walking off into the depths of Antarctica, away from away from the water and its comrades, and this water penguin. Oh my, my German accent is terrible. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I can um, I can I can I can imagine it. You yeah. Know? yeah, this poor yeah. penguin. He walks walks away from his friends, away from all that keeps him in, with the life around him, facing the uncertainty of death. <laughs> He faces the fear that we all face in the end. It's just, it's glorious. The uh, uncertainty of death. That, that is, that's quite a lot. Yeah. The certainty of undeath, I think, for the <laughs> vampiric penguins. He was onto something, was, was when I had some. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh. I will be here all week. Uh, uh, -huh. <laughs> uh okay. Uh, bizarre. Um, this is a sequence in the TV show that spawns a strange corner of the internet to uh, to perk up, right, and to wonder what's really going on in uh, in this county. Okay, cool. Thanks, Sabine. 
Um, Chris, how about how about Jesse? Yeah, so Jesse, you know, so Jesse, I think, you know, me thinks did pro protest too much uh, when when he was trying to justify his working with Patton. And, you know, even though in the moment he was all defensive, um, you know, as it as it starts, um, as he starts sort of reflecting on it afterwards, he wants to sort of prove to prove that that where his allegiances lie. And he knows that Patton has, um, I don't know if y'all know what a, what a ribbon microphone is, but the sort of very old school, like if you pick from the ceiling, that'd be a sort of microphone. vintage style, yeah. Um, and, and he knows that like, you know, cause you know, this is from way back in the day and he was just running sound. So he knows that Patton's lucky microphone, you know, he, he uses that mic every single show. He insists on it. He's not, not going to mess with any any sort of unreliable uh, venue mics. Um, so he he decides to start a project, you know, invite himself over and see if he can't lift lift that ribbon microphone to to present to MPH as a sort of like proof right. of like, hey, right, because like, he's still in town, right? He's probably he's like getting he's, he's getting he's over his parents. His parents right. still live here, right? Yeah. Um, and so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can't invite myself over and try to, try to figure out a way to, to, to lift that thing. Um, yeah. So, I guess this is a four segment clock as a project, uh, uh, because I think, yeah, I think we've established last week that Patton is, is, um, you know, flattery will get you anywhere, right? Uh, <laughs> how how do we i mean that seems like a natural in for jesse anyway right but uh how do you think uh he's going to approach this problem um yeah i mean i i imagine i'm still you know i've i've um you know i was banging around the music scene at the same time sam i probably have his you know i could i probably have his phone number i can text him um so I, 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 you know, just drop a line, be like, hey, I don't know if you're aware I was running sound, you know, it was was a great show, was wondering if, you know, you're going to be sticking around town, if I can just drop by, uh, grab a beer, maybe I, maybe I, I, I want to, you know, drop off, uh, you know, I'll, I'll bring a sensible gift of a, a bottle of moonshine um, that, that, you know, as a, as a homecoming gift and a sensible homecoming gift uh to uh uh weasel my way in and congratulate him on his homecoming um so i mean uh we it's a pity that weasel isn't the name of the action but hustle it is right <laughs> <laughs> um and i notice you also have mouth out of the set right the uh, when employing your style, you get plus one D to influence, sway, or entice others. Do you think this this is gonna? Yeah, help? I think I think when I start laying it on heavy, I, I I maybe especially if I'm talking to people from the county, I maybe start laying into the like the folksy metaphors a little mm, bit more. You're code switching, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. I I get I get a little bit a little a little whiter, a little honkier, a little a little more you know, from the hollers kind of vibe to me. Mm -hmm. Um and so I, you know, I come in with the 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 bottle of moonshine in in a in a in a mason jar, of course. Of course. Um it's homemade. Home, uh, yeah, no, it's the only only way to, you know, they sell this they they sell this shit in the stores now. And I don't, you know, it's 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 you know like slapping a Campbell's label on mama's mama's uh chicken noodle um you know this is this is the good stuff we got it straight from this straight from the still you know it'll 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 take a take a whiff it'll it'll burn your nostril hairs cleaner than when the uh when lookout mountain uh uh caught fire back in aught three um yeah so what do what do we what do you want to call uh jesse's rhetorical style uh, what, um, what's the label on that corn pone um <laughs> sort of sort of sort of down home but with maybe a little bit of extra 
Oh, and it's 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 Memphis. I was gonna say a little extra mustard on top, little little extra hot sauce on top. Yeah. Uh, okay. And do you think you've got anyone helping you? Um, no, I'm definitely I'm flying this solo because I wanted to be a surprise. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it sounds like three dice to me. Okay. And highest is a six. Okay. So that is. Oh, three ticks. So as um, <clears throat> uh, as Will um, might have mentioned in the chat, you might not have seen it. Uh, you have an option on any downtime. Obviously, you can you can you can make a, a long term project and return to it with another roll, guaranteeing your success, or you can spend a cash to bump it up a level, which would get you to complete it right now. Uh, um, so yeah, maybe I spent that cash on on uh, you know on the uh, maybe, maybe you booked a studio. A, I'm sorry. Maybe you booked a studio. I booked a studio. Oh, oh, yeah, to be like, oh, Patton, let's let's do some work together. Let's do uh, these country. The, you know these y'all. You you remember Lil Nas X? Like these country hip hop crossovers. They are yeah. they are the thing. I want to get you in with Baird. I want to get, you know, I, I've been managing this chick out of Memphis. She's amazing. She's going to be the next hot thing. She's tearing it up down there. Let's get her putting a verse on one of your tracks. All of a sudden, you're going to be in the urban markets. You're going to be in the country markets. You're going to be at the top of the fucking pop markets, Pat. And we're going to make you the king of this town. We're going to make you the king of the state. We're going to make the king of the billboard charts. Nice. Hell yeah. And I guess in, in all the confusion, you know, that ribbon mic just falls into a box and yeah, finds its way yeah. out, you know? Just wander um, off. You put uh, you put you put a little bit too much of that uh 303 in your belly. You don't yeah, know what's yeah, yeah. happening around you. And and you yeah, you are kind of free and clear and not a suspect and you know, they, they know it's somewhere else, right? You know, you're you're uh you you, you got the goods. Um oh, cool, uh, cool. Yeah, awesome. Uh, how how will MPH know its patterns? Is there like a, a monogram or some kind of uh, stylistic flourish on it? I mean, I don't. I, I think it's. I mean, I don't think it's been upgraded. I think it's banged up. I mean, I think it's like the you know the dings and the the dangs on it from over the years. Um, you know, and and you know, you guys were in the same band. You know, you know what your your bandmates' gear looks like. Yeah, um, this is probably like a rare old mic. You know, if I didn't steal it, I certainly did not have the money to buy it. Um, right. so it, it, it only one place it could have come from. Yeah, there's a um, there's like a distinctive um, like a like a pattern of discoloration on the microphone that I re I remember got there from a time when we were playing a a venue with like really shitty electronic like electrical systems and Patton got like electrocuted because he <laughs> oh, sure, sure. he was like right up on the mic you know and so and so there's like some corrosion or, or like you know like a um a place where I can see that happening and I'm like well that's it's like one of kind you know um, awesome uh, amazing yeah uh cool let's let's go back around the table um Will, you're. I presume you're gonna. Um, yes. You don't leave that single segment. <laughs> no, no, of course not. No. Uh, so I think it's lazy. I'm gonna go with uh, Vargas, uh, the mechanic. Um, can help me out. Uh, and I think that what I am doing is um, getting a line on uh, the uh, the chop shops and uh, garages that are run by Baron Carter and look after his vehicles. You know, where do they dump, where do they swap the plates out? Where do they get their crew? You know, like get a bit of an idea on their fleet right like because uh probably like these you know sat back in that chair at the end of that murder board and going like it's all about logistics you know everyone forgets it but if you blow the fuck out of their their cars they ain't gonna get anywhere right and then you can pick them off one by one 
just like they did to me in the desert. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and just, yeah. Um, so, so, did you want to save your money, see what the role is? I mean, there's like a, there's a fine line here, right? If you roll really badly, uh, and, but, mm. but basically, if you spend the money to five, you, like, it doesn't matter what you roll, you get that final tick. Mm. But I've got three ticks. Yeah. If I rolled a one and spent yeah. the money, I'd only get up to two, right? Exactly. I'd only get yeah. to five. Yeah. Uh, whereas this way, I've pretty much guaranteed it. Exactly. By, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. no, I'd, I'd rather guarantee it by, okay. yeah, um, yeah. by doing that, you know? Um, yeah, if you want to be, like, if you're really on a long-term project and you want to save your money, you'd you, you'd roll again normally, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but So, in terms of timing, uh, how um, do you want this to kind of set off like before the mission or we see the result of it um, after I, the mission? How do you dramatically think, speaking? Well, I don't think I, I think all this does for the completion of the long-term clock is fictionally position me to do that Yeah. Okay. at, at a point, you know, like yeah. I, I don't know, I don't want to shape the whole you know what i mean i want to see where we go with the, sure. the rest of the stuff but have that in the bag right Just okay like yeah um, um so how about we roll anyway yeah uh, see... and then if we ever re if we get time to return like those extra ticks will be like added engagement for uh for, yeah. for that job right oof only a three on that one as well. So it's a good job that I did okay. do it that yeah. way around. I wouldn't have uh, managed to complete my clock. Uh, and I think that is a you know step back from uh, the uh, the board, right? You know, after drawing more and more string together, and the camera is like not looking at the board, of course. And she steps back, and she's got like a cigarette in one hand, and then the pen in the other. And she accidentally sucks the pen for a second, and spits it out, and then goes, "Holy fuck!" Right there. And then we cut away, right? Like, because yeah. we don't need to know what right there meant. <laughs> exactly. We, yeah. we want to keep our pattern dry for when we reveal that right there is, you know, whatever. The red yeah. pinto. Mm. <laughs> uh, or, or, or whatever. Okay, cool. Anything else? Do we think, like, it's hope alone when she makes that kind of the final pieces go in, or is Lee there, or Vargas there, or? Uh, I, I think uh, in the shot, you can only see hope. Okay. You know. Okay, cool. Set up nicely. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Will. Uh yeah, how about M MPH for your second that Yeah. Much. Yeah, sure. Um I think I want to so we've already got tuned vehicles. Right. Yeah. I think like there's going to be some kind of automotive aspect to whatever our next, you know, our, our big, our big showstopper is going to be. Um, and, and I think I want to, I want to spend my, my, my cash that I gained from, from, you know, teaching rugrats how to drive um, to buy like an extra special vehicle. Um I, I am wondering. I, so I'm looking. I'm looking at the buy stuff. Yeah. So when you're buying Actually, an asset, it's kind of like a. It, it's pretty much a one shot, a one use item. It's not like a right. a crew upgrade. Right. Um, uh, but yeah, in the downtime actions, you'll see like it costs uh, zero to start, and then for every true statement, you add plus one price. So it's illegal. It's extremely illegal, it's rare, it has specialist skills or functions, it's superior to others of its type, it's for a luxury audience. It's meant for a small group, but it's meant for a large group, it's meant for a huge group. Well, uh, let's let's lean into the um the sort of gonzo aspect of this game. I think I want to buy an aftermarket nitrous system uh that I can fit onto one of our vehicles. So that I guess that would be specialist functions and illegal uh yeah so that would uh, be two cash to buy right okay so uh, i am i'm spending the, the one that i took 
from from the job that we did and the one that I gained from my previous downtime action. Yes. So next next job we're uh we're gonna um, go fast so so how do you like who do you get this from who's your contact here um yeah um i mean gonzalez or maybe even uh ruiz seems like uh good people to start from but yeah yeah i feel like gonzalez probably um I, I would get this from and and I don't think even he is like the one who has it because he's an honest racer, but he knows people in like the like the drag racing scene, you know. Uh yeah. uh he he wouldn't be in 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 the Fast and Furious, like the first Fast and Furious movie, but he knows Ludacris. Yeah, okay. Uh, so so he has the he has the connection for me to is get there, is there a criminal faction uh on the factions tab that you think the speed racer or the speed racing circus is tied into uh yeah yeah sure um let me take a second to look at this um i think probably the um Oh man. I I feel like I want to say Kurokaido Motors down here, but but that's maybe there are two above board. Well, maybe they use street racing as like a test bed, right? Or uh -huh. something like that. Right. Maybe it's like a, a secret project for them. They're they're conducting market research. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh yeah, so okay, so cool. I'll I'll go with Kurokaido Motors. Okay, awesome. Um, and, and before, and before we, before we, um, I like, I don't think I, this needs to be a conversation, but I do yeah. want to see, I do want to see it like a, 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 a shot from maybe like a wide shot of me, um, like putting the last sort of touches on this and turning around to see Jessica in the, in the door of the, of the garage with this, uh, oddly shaped bundle, <laughs> uh, and and you know like seeing seeing through the window like uh malcolm giving his cousin a big hug you know um yeah cool um sabine marley's second that time yeah i think i want to invest in a long-term project and i think what i said about bridge burning i mean that fucking cop i don't I I don't think uh, he needs to he needs to run around. I mean he, he's an accident waiting to happen, isn't he? Mm. He's always running around with these guns and never he's never considering that he's an ex soldier. He is not great on gun safety. He's not. So just trying to figure out how and where an accident might happen to him. Okay. Um, so is this, um, again, I guess like the Get Carter project, this is kind of a surveillance, keep an eye on him, Yeah. You know, see what, who, the wrong sorts of people he hangs out with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All that kind of stuff. Um, I guess, um, again, do you, do you want to just set this up, uh, or do you want like a possibility that we, you, uh, you would have a chance of doing this uh, in in the next session. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I I'm happy with both of it. Let's see how the roll goes. Maybe. And I see that Jesse doesn't have a second activity that particularly had in mind. I could help you on this with my action. Oh, that, I would appreciate that. Sure if I, thing. If 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 you want to, you know. Yeah, so you can you can help in with that. Um, that would give you an extra die. Um, What's that? It's a kitty. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, hi kitty. 
I oh. thought it was a raccoon there for a second. I don't no, know. No, my I'm not that in character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, I mean, if, um, if I so, would absolutely love that. Yeah. So this seems like a survey. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Survey absolutely. seems like the best one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's creep. that's. Yeah. I mean, I could do the creep, but I think survey for the. For the first part, at least, it's more like me hanging out, like just, you know, sitting in a car, looking at stuff. Maybe Jesse's running around a little because, I mean, uh, Mar knows me. Mar knows maybe that Jesse's my brother, but Jesse's so, I mean, Jesse's so inconspicuous, kind of harmless looking. Maybe he's not, but uh, maybe he's not that harmless, but he, I, I feel he kind of, it's kind of more of a harmless looking guy. So that would be uh, amazing if he could just run around and then tell me stuff. And I can sit on a, I don't know, rooftop is probably a bit much, but uh, uh, on an elevation in a car looking at stuff. I've, I've got an image of us at least in the in the car together. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, I don't know, it's Southern delicacy, you know what boiled peanuts are? Okay. Uh, Take raw peanuts and boil them with a bunch of salt and some some maybe hot chili sometimes. Okay. Uh, just just you know we pick some up from they get you know sell them on roadside stands and we're sitting there sitting there you know chewing chewing the shit talking mm-hmm. while, while mm-hmm. chomping down these boiled peanuts. Yeah. I honestly yeah. love them. They're so good. They're delicious. Never uh, heard of them. They also also appear in Chinese cuisine though. Obviously, from oh, very nice. different. Uh, okay. You know. Uh, so yeah, why don't you roll um, two dice? Let's see. I roll two okay. dice. Okay. Oh, I've got a five. Okay, so that's two ticks on the mm-hmm. uh, okay. on the clock. <clears throat> there is something where to put my clock. There is this knob. Uh, there is not. Uh, that's fine. Okay, but I'll, I'll put um, some in in the in, in between sessions. Uh, so what do you think? Like, um, and I guess uh, like. I guess maybe it's a four o'clock and you're kind of halfway through it. Okay. Maybe you have an idea of where uh, his weakness is or maybe the wrong kind of situation he might be getting himself into. Um, if you say it's a four thingy clock and I spent my cash, could I uh, push it then? Up? Could I push it up? Two, so you, you, if four? you push it to a six, you could. that would be three. Oh, okay. So that wouldn't get finished. Okay. Ah, I see, I see. So yeah. one cash pushes this up one. Yeah. Oh, okay, one level. Okay, I get it. Fine. Yeah, I wouldn't get finished. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Then I'm not spending the cash. Maybe I'll do another action, but probably not because we're at nearly at what you said should be our time, so... Um, yeah, so do you have an idea for like the plan Marley is is kind of mulling over in his head or? I mean, yeah, because I think uh, Marley wants maybe to get Mother to uh, do a little blackmail. You don't do blackmail in the middle of the city, at least not giving over the money. Maybe that's 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 something that could happen somewhere out there, you know. So like setting a, him up a, a, a sting operation on when he attempts to blackmail something like oh, that. Well, yeah, telling him to come to here and there and then just use the sniper rifle. But that yeah. now that wouldn't look like an accident, right? That would not yeah. look like an accident. No. <laughs> that would not look like an accident. So maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe I I I want to see if he has a trail. It lives in a trailer or something or. A, Probably not. He probably lives in a house, but he has a veranda or something. And I need need him to be home, and I need to go to him and drink and reminisce about 
the army, right? Yeah. That's that's probably the plan. And I'm totally bad at stuff like that. Like I'm good at growling at people. I'm I'm getting pointers from Jesse though about how how to kind of get people to have a drink with me, I guess. Yeah. People who have reason to be suspicious. Cool. Okay. So, that, that's basically the plan. I yeah, need him to be yeah. secluded a little and and uh, open to maybe me and Jesse coming by and trying to do the whole yeah we're both back let's 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 put uh, put our arguments behind us and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's maybe close out with maybe we flash back to that scene where uh where, where the crew unveil the map maybe they flip around the murder board <laughs> uh to show the the idea for the next job what do we do we have any ideas forming uh, is it is it the baron carter job is that it um i i think uh you know like I, i'm just looking at the uh the guide and it's like you know, you target your goal, and it's like maybe sometimes you only know one of them. Uh, and I think uh, I would like the goal to be like, fuck Baron Carter, right? Like he he took from us, he took uh, he took our dad's life. Like he's like the Barnetts and his war. This is the perfect time. We're not going to get a better time than now than this. Yeah, we're gonna make it we've... big. Like he's going to yeah. choke us. He's going to take every bit of cash from us unless we take it from him now so the only rough ideas i have is like uh, maybe like cutting a deal with the barnets to maybe be like if we can take out car then you know like that we, that does you know? give us a, that does give us a an escape route right because if we if we do something that's like that big and that drastic it'll definitely behoove us to have the good the goodwill of <laughs> yeah of uh yeah but like you know that the um the barnet crime mob don't have to be like involved but like in the aftermath you know what i mean like as we if we if we do this decapitation strike we can probably make a lot of money either in payment from the barnet so just by like what we can cream off the top of the uh the car operation after the barnets move in and take it over right like um really up our standing with them and effectively take over our own hood you know like right and then we can leave with whatever we get i'm just thinking for the last session it's kind of like combining the two of like getting revenge big payoff one way or the other and uh a perhaps the idea that in our own stupid violent petty criminal minds um that you know this will fix the problems of uh right and we're going to be better down. we're going to be better than baron carter was um, yeah. right yeah well we're not looking to take it over we're just going to remove and the barnett's going to be better than baron carter is right surely surely <laughs> you know like yeah does that sound i mean i mean like the the details of exactly how you're doing it or the exactly what you're targeting you know we can leave for next week but does that seem like a a fair yeah. thing to have in everyone's mind for totally. over the next he's, seven days. He's got to go down, and whether that means like just being bankrupted or something stronger, uh, we'll we'll find out. We'll play to find out what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sound good to you, Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sabine? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so we will leave it there. I guess. Uh, we'll stop recording. We'll do a quick uh, Stars and Wishes and then we'll wrap. Okay. Good night, okay. everyone.